Hello, my name is Ray Chowdhury. I'm a neurologist and a professor of movement disorders and Parkinson's here at King's College in London. It gives me great pleasure indeed to talk to you briefly about our research that's focused largely on real life effects on people with Parkinson's and their carers. We are particularly interested in the non-motor aspects of people with Parkinson's and research in this area, as it remains, unfortunately, a key unmet need. Non-motor problems of Parkinson's were mentioned by Dr. James Parkinson from here in, my, in our city of London. In 1817, he mentioned problems such as pain, sleep dysfunction, bowel problems, dribbling of saliva in people with Parkinson's. Yet, precious little has been done about these things, even now, where vast part of our research monies are still spent on pursuing neuroprotection, on pursuing genetic research, and on pursuing clinical uh, trials for motor functions in Parkinson's. All of these are important, but so are non-motor aspects. We are particularly proud, for instance, of our work in collaboration, as you've heard from Dr. Bannister in her lab, in relation to her work, trying to understand a bit more about pain in Parkinson's and how this blights the lives of so many people with Parkinson's. But we are also interested in other non-motor subtypes of Parkinson's, those who have more problems with memory, those who might have problems of sleep dysfunction, those who might have problems with constipation, bowel problems, and those who might have issues with apathy when you lose interest in what you are very much interested in. So please do try and support us in these initiatives. We do ha have a lot of initiatives coming up. Um, we have the World Parkinson's Day that will be celebrated <clears throat> from our centre. We also have a series of seminars and webinars um, of the Movement Disorder Society European section coming up through April and May. Please do and try and log into this. You will hear some exceptional speakers talking about these key unmet needs. And finally, I'd like to end by congratulating our colleagues in Parkinson's Concierge who have put up these things together for us. And at the, I think it's really important that we like to collaborate with people like this because these organizations are led by people with Parkinson's and it is their lives we're here to enrich. So thank you again for having us.